Alrighty guys, well, um, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go through some of the things that I'm planning on doing with, with this car, as well as kind of talk through some of the things I've already got for this car that need to go in. So a couple things I wanna try to do to this car um, while I have it is um, the brakes I definitely want to look into doing like there's a Jeep SRT8 uh, swap that people do um, using a couple custom brackets that are far cheaper than getting the uh, Brembo brake package um, and that can cost I think upwards of like six thousand dollars this whole setup for the SRT8 Jeep brakes somewhere around like the fifteen hundred dollar mark and it's still six piston front and four piston rear very, very good stopping power. So that's one thing I'll probably want to do with this car at some point. Um, but before I do that, before I really do any other major changes, I need to address one thing, and that is the differential back here. So the diff has got a problem um, that the previous owner told me about. He was really upfront about it in that the ring gear on it, one of the teeth had a uh, broke off of it. I actually got to see the diff out of the car with the with the uh, tooth that was broken off. And only it was a clean break. Um, car drives fine, but it's something that I'll want to replace anyway. And since I want to do what is my next thing is get rid of this automatic and do a T56 swap, it's a good opportunity to actually put in something that's a little bit more um, geared towards, um, you know, having that T56 swap. Right now it's got a 376 gear in the rear of it. Um, and with a T56 with the close ratio, um, I'd probably be better off with something like a 408 or a 427. So, um, being a super and what it is and parts being kind of harder to come by, there are some options out there. You can get like some Lexus differentials. You can, it, there's a couple different gear sets you can get, but it's not like the GM world where you can just find, you know, Richmond gears and they have everything for every type of rear end that ever came out for GM. So instead I have a gear set here that I picked up for like a hundred bucks from a guy on one of the super boards. Um, and it's a two, uh, it's a 427 rear gear uh, pinion and gear set. Um, I had cleaned it up, I put some oil on it and kind of wrapped it just so that it wouldn't rust again. It was a little rusty when I got it. Um, so I got that gear set, which would be perfect for the T50, with the T56. Um, another thing, uh, I bought another rear end altogether because sometimes finding all the shims and all that sort of stuff for it is hard to come by. So for 200 bucks, I picked up um, another differential that's being shipped um, here. And it's actually a direct bolt-in for um, another Supra. It was off of like a 95 Supra, an A car, uh, five speed um, and that gear set should either be a 408 or a 427 you know one of the two um, I haven't quite confirmed what it is yet when, when I get it I'll count the teeth and figure it out um, but anyway with this differential um, the only problem like I said is the gear um, but it has a TRD LSD in it and that's pretty hard to come by and they're they're rare uh, they stopped making them a couple of years back and people want good money for them and it's in good condition so before anything happens with that rear end and it detonates i mean it shears all the teeth off and screws up the lsd i'll probably want to get that rebuilt and i got a couple options like i said coming in the mail so um after i do that or while i'm doing that that's when i really want to look at doing the trans swap um Car already makes good power. Uh, it's a single turbo setup. It's got Pro EFI. It pushes like 30 pounds of boost. It's already got flex fuel. It's got all the stuff that I want anyway, and I don't need to do because it's already there. Um, so yeah, the next thing is really just making it enjoyable, and that's where the T56 swap comes in. Um, so um, we'll see once I get my gear set um, and I get that situated, and I start to really look at uh, buying the T56. Uh, set up and picking out a clutch that I want that's going to hold the power that I'm going to be making here and, and also have a little bit of longevity as well um, You know, I'll start picking up parts, but I do have one new part right here um, And this is only something I picked up more recently just because they're still available um, and I don't know how much longer Toyota is going to make some of these parts They seem to kind of discontinue them, you know here and there and there's no rhyme or reason for what they're discontinuing but and that is just the the center console area for a manual trans. I picked it up, it was like 80 bucks on eBay. It's brand new, it's a Toyota part, as you can see by the, by the box. Um, I just picked it up so that I would have it because I don't want something to happen where like halfway through the year they discontinue that part and then all of a sudden they go up to like 600 bucks pop because everybody's trying to buy and hoard them. That's the problem with these cars is that depending on the parts you're looking for, they're either kind of cheap and available especially if they use them on other models like lexuses and shit or they're out the ass and insane expensive like the trd lsd you know what i mean so you know the the luckily the the components that i have on this car are all great 
for what I what I want. I'm not really looking for anything too sought after. Um, and and the parts that I do need for the T56 swap are still readily available and pretty cheap. The only other thing I got to pick up is really the pedal set. Um, so I can buy you know the brake pedal, the clutch pedal, that whole assembly, um, the stock set. So I'll have that. Otherwise, everything else that's in the T56 swap is all. Um, it's all uh, aftermarket stuff. So, you know, the, that stuff's always gonna be available for the most part. Um, you know, things might get discontinued or whatever, but um, that's kind of uh, the rundown of my thinking of, of what I wanna do with this car, my plans for it. After that, after I do the trans, after the rear end, and all that is drivable and, and it's just a great driving car, then I'll start to look at doing some of the brakes stuff. Um, I might do some suspension, but I might not. It's already got um, some decent uh, suspension on it. It's got coilovers front and rear. They are uh, the teen or tine or I don't know how to say them, but they're your standard green set. They're kind of like the more affordable uh, coilover. You can see some over here. Um, they're the more affordable coilover option for these cars. I don't know if I'm going to need anything too robust. Uh, you know, I'm not tracking this car. I'm not drag racing this car. So, you know, just something that kind of handles well and is fun to drive. That's all I'm looking for in it. So, um, like I said, too, I already took the gauges out, so I'm going to have those rebuilt by Stu. Got them over there in a box. I just got to ship them out. Uh, so I'll have those back in a couple weeks. I'll probably make a video of those. I'm really excited to see how how much it updates the interior. I hear that it just it looks so much more modern with the LED setup, and it's very classic looking, classy looking. It's not like in-your-face super bright or anything like that. So super excited to see that. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what my plans are. If there's things that, uh, as a new super owner, that I should really be thinking about uh, upgrading or, or looking at, um, you know, let me know. I'd be curious to hear. Uh, this is all new to me. Um, love these cars. For my first time ever getting to actually own one, um, and it's kind of exciting. It's something new for me. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, I guess just let me know what you're what you're kind of looking for. But I want to try to put out some more and more videos with this type of content. And especially when I start doing this, the, the trans swap, I think it'd be great for me to kind of show all the struggles that I go through trying to get this thing uh, working with a, with a proper manual. All right, take care. Bye.